。大家好，时间过得真快，我们又见面啦。今天这个系列，我们将针对首购族。大家有没有想过，在购买房地产的交易当中，律师到底扮演了什么样的角色？在购买房地产的过程中，买主需要付很多的费用。除了买价的十八线定金之外，还有什么费用买主需要承担的呢？在买卖的交易过程中，需要多久才能完成呢？今天我们特别邀请了一位专业的律师来为大家做一个分享，请看下去吧。Good evening, my name is Nicholas Chu, and I'm a partner here at the firm Wise Hill Me and Chu. Been invited here tonight to talk to you. As a first-time home buyer, so that you have an understanding of the process that's involved, I'm very pleased to be doing this junction with our partners, SO Malaysia. As a first-time home buyer here in Johor State, the first thing I want you to know is that apart from your sale and purchase price, you will actually have a number of other transaction fees that you will need. There are primarily three different forms. The first is a stamp duty, which is a tax. The second are land office charges and land office fees to register the new property in your name. And the third one are your professional fees for uh, lawyers or accountants, various other charges that you might get on your case to case. As a first-time home buyer, there is some good news. The government has instituted what is known as a stamp duty provision. What this order does is it gives a discount on the amount of tax you have to pay for your first home purchase. The first part is the portion of your purchase price from zero to three hundred thousand ringgit. This is where the order takes place. You pay no stamp duty. On that first three hundred thousand ringgit of your purchase price. The second part then is from three hundred and one thousand ringgit up until half a million. You will pay two percent of your property purchase value of that amount of the purchase price. The third and final part then is from half a million onwards,、uh, whereby everybody in Malaysia pays three percent. Purchase price value as stamp duty. Now that I've explained that you're not just paying the purchase price of the property, you're also paying stamp duty, you're paying land office charges, you're also paying professional charges、uh, to your lawyer. Let me explain a little bit about what we will do in your case process. The first thing to know about the conveyancing process is that it is quite a complicated, convoluted system. But don't fear, because that is what the lawyer will deal with primarily. Property transaction breaks down into a number of parts. The first part, A, is before you sign an agreement. This is the negotiation phase. Once you've engaged your solicitor, such as myself. We will make sure that the negotiation is conducted in the right way, in the legal way, so that you are protected and that you reach the objective that you want. Once the negotiation is complete, we then move into the execution phase, and this is where you sign the actual sale and purchase agreement、uh, that you are happy with. Once that is done, you have a contractual relationship with the seller. We can then move into the last and final part, which is the actual carrying out of your negotiated contract. In this part, the last and final part, this is where you get the most complicated elements. That is where our job really starts. This is where we will liaise with the multiple different departments and persons involved in your transaction to make sure that you actually get. All the money that you need to the seller at the right time, in the right way, and in the right order, so that you can get your keys and move into your new house.
Now I've spoken about money involved in a sale and purchase transaction. I mentioned a little bit about the process that's involved. And I'm going to talk about the last piece now that everybody wants to know, which is how long is this whole thing going to take? The first answer is that there isn't really a standard throughout Malaysia that everybody has to follow. However, in Malaysia, as is commonly practiced, we utilize a contract known as a 3 plus 1. What the 3 plus 1 stands for is actually months. This means that your standard transaction in Malaysia will take 3 months, and if that's not long enough, you get a 4 point, giving you the 3 plus 1. Once you sign your sale and purchase agreement, typically you have 3 months to complete the entire payment of your purchase price. If, for whatever reason, you don't manage to pay the full price within 3 months, the contract gives you an automatic extension of a fourth month. However, that fourth month does incur a payment. But generally speaking, your entire sale and purchase should be completed within three months, whereby the seller gets the money he's due, the process is followed, and you can get the keys and even the new I hope you found the information useful. I quite enjoyed speaking to you today. If you have any queries, you can always come back to us or any other solicitors that you're using. In the meantime, however, I do have to get back to work. It's been a pleasure talking to you and our partners, SLP Malaysia. Have a lovely day. Hopefully, we'll see you again soon.